guys, my name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. Right now, I'm here with my friend who's not really my friend right now because I'm filming him while he's in bed. He's not happy about it, as you guys can see. Before we get too much farther in this video, I just want to say that if you are here only for the tutorial, that's the only thing you want to see, I totally get that and respect it. So just skip to the number that is displayed on the screen. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Anyways, guys, a couple of videos ago, I unboxed some hover shoes that this company sent to me, and they're so cool! We're gonna take it outdoors, try out the hover shoes a little bit more so you guys get a little bit more of an idea of how far they can actually go, what speeds they can go, and all the fun things you can do with them. You know what? It's come to this. <sighs> get out of bed, Jonah! So this is how to pick up chicks. Step one, get a hoverboard. Once the chicks see this, it's just gonna be insane. Where are the ladies at? <laughs> So I'm back from the hover shoes. It was a good time. Those hover shoes are just so much fun. If you guys want to check out the hover shoes for yourself, I'm going to have them at the top of the description. But anyways, guys, I think it's time to hop in the computer and talk about what you probably clicked on this video for, which is how to do the absolute best glitch transitions in After Effects. Here we go. All right, guys, so I'm at the computer now, and let's start talking about how to do what I think is the best glitch effect in After Effects. Now, first off, I try to make this as easy as I possibly could for you guys, but I want to tell you that there is actually an easier way to do this effect if you're willing to pay the price. If you guys came to this video trying to find out how to do JR Ollie glitch transitions specifically, like the exact ones that JR Ollie uses, then the best and easiest way to do that is to buy a preset pack on VideoHive.com. The preset pack is called Handy Seamless Transitions, and it comes with tons of transitions, including the ones JR Ollie uses. It has the glitch effects, it has the distortion zoom effects, it has everything. So if you're willing to pay the price, I would definitely suggest buying that pack, but for the rest of us, I'm going to show you guys how to do it for free. Don't worry guys, I wouldn't leave you out. Trust me, I totally get it. I hate spending money on stuff like that. Especially when your boy Andrew can show you how to make a pretty similar transition for free. Alright, so I'm going to take the energy level down a couple of notches and let's start talking about how to do this effect. Now the first thing you're going to want to do as per usual with my tutorials is go down to the description and hit that download link. You're going to download three different files and what they are are glitch overlays that I made previously in After Effects. Once you've downloaded them, you're going to open up Premiere Pro and hop into the program. I'm going to go over to my control panel, hit control I on PC or command I on Mac, and I'm going to select these three glitch overlays. This is what the download should look like for you, and I'm going to hit open. And I'm going to start going through them and seeing which one will work best for this specific clip. I'm going to try out this third one first. I think I like that one probably the most. I like how subtle it is. I didn't want something super flashy, but really any of the three would work. Now I'm happy to announce that I did include my glitch sound effect pack with the glitch overlay files. That way they'll all be grouped together and you can easily just grab one of these glitch sound effects and drag it over. I'm going to go with glitch 02 for this specific transition, but any of them will work. And now we'll play it through. Perfect. I actually think that matches really well. It's almost the exact length of the bars, and I think that looks good. Now, you will notice that I did make these glitch bars a little bit on the darker side, but if you want to fix that, it's super easy. All you're going to do is go over to effects, type in Lumetri color, drag that onto your clip, go over to the effects controls panel, select it, scroll down. You can do this in basic correction, but I'm more comfortable with curves, and then you're going to just make a selection of the midtones and drag them up like that. As you guys can see, it easily makes it a lot brighter. Uh, we'll make it something like that. All right, yeah, I really like that. I think that looks pretty good. Now, to be honest with you guys, you could probably just leave this as is. I think it looks pretty good and it was really easy to make, but, but, but if you want to take it one step further and make it just look a little bit better, we can easily do that. What I'm gonna do is select all these clips 
and right click and hit replace with After Effects composition. So once you're in After Effects, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to about the end of this clip. I'm going to duplicate this by hitting Control D on PC and I'm gonna bring the length all the way down. Now there are a lot of very sophisticated ways of displacing your footage, but for a simple clip like this, I'm just gonna show you my method. It's a bit rudimentary, but I think it works and it looks pretty good. So to do that, you duplicate your footage, drag it to the length that you want, and then we're gonna select this clip, hit P on your keyboard, and then just change the position of the footage just change it to really wherever you want probably don't make it too drastic but uh, just just shift it over a little bit now you're gonna go over to your rectangle tool select that and then just start dragging random little bars if you go like that there's a bar there's a bar we can chunk it up over there to make it look a little bit more sophisticated try to refrain from making too big of rectangles like that I think it looks best when there's a lot of clumps of very thin displacements something like this and then we'll go over to the next half of it and I'll just do a few more frames Okay, so I just did it for a few more frames. Let's play it through and see how it looks. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think I might have overdone it just, just a smidge, so we'll go back and delete a few of those frames. Just a couple in the middle, something like that. Let's play it through again. All right, that's a lot better. There's one more final thing I'm gonna do, and this is completely optional. But if you guys look at this footage, you can see that when these glitch bars come through, it makes the rest of the clip a little bit dark. I don't like that. So to get rid of that, I'm gonna toggle my switches, go over to my blend mode, change it from normal all the way to screen. So now when we play it through, that looks much better. One more time, though, I'm just gonna brighten these up a bit something like that. Alright, so I brighten them up one more time, and I think now we have the absolute perfect glitch transition. Let's play it through. Boom. I think that looks great. I'm really satisfied with that. I like it a lot. Alright, everybody, so I think that's gonna be it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you would give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos or you haven't joined the Ant Crew yet, the Ant Crew is a place for creative entrepreneurs, editors, aspiring filmmakers, aspiring YouTubers, photographers, and just people like that. If you feel like there's no around you who thinks like you do who dreams like you do or anything like that then the and crew is the place for you i hope you guys like this video enjoy your weekend and i'll see you guys back on monday peace